Okay, hello. We are live here from the Future Book Conference in London. Hello, publicans. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, Christine, Christine Fra Borbooks. And together with me, there is another startup, uh, Publica, and uh, Joseph Mart. And what he's doing is really exciting. And uh, Bellbox has been in partners, and uh, that gives us uh, new possibilities that we never thought about before. Um, Joseph, could you tell, tell us about uh, Publica, what you are doing? Well, it's the blockchain for books, and um, only the money part. Um, uh, bold books will take care of the rest of the author's journey, but at some point there's money involved, and especially if you want some of that crypto money, um, but all kinds of money. When you get to the money part, call us and we'll take care of you. So uh, here at Future Books, um, everyone's gone into the conferences right now, so it's empty, but you can kind of see the space. And the vendors here are you know, providing the uh, traditional um, uh, products that you would use in the business of publishing. Uh, when, we, when we originally were invited here, we were thinking to get one of those tables, but uh, the early interest people said, oh, we want to hear about this blockchain for books thing, so they moved us into the main room. Uh, so you'll see, we're going to go present there in about an hour. Uh, apparently there's some interest in that crypto money thing and getting your blockchain for books together. And uh, you also uh, get me a, a little spot there. Yes, <laughs> that's say, right. To yeah, say yeah. something about uh, ball books. So, all, all this is happening so fast. Last week I didn't even know that I would go to a future book and now I'm talking to uh, maybe 100 uh, people. <laughs> well, bold books is an important part because uh, it's really an author's journey from idea to Nobel Prize for literature and you know there's a lot in between and, uh, and public is only part of it, right? It's just the part where you want to engage your community and do some financial transactions, get your read tokens, get your books uh, published in a digital way where the, the you don't need a digital rights management, you don't need a end user license agreement, um, contracts, you know, it's just mu so much simpler. And the reader itself is your digital wallet, so if you buy a book, your money goes straight to the author's wallet, very simple. And Bold Books actually takes, is the important part for the entire life cycle. Everything that happens where there isn't money being transacted, you would want to do that with both books. But uh, Joseph, I think uh, maybe people uh, have, they have heard about blockchain, but they are not really sure what it is. Um, uh, could you come uh, explain it even more easy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, what, you, what does this mean to board books and the in the independent authors? Well, if you've ever played an online video game, uh, you were playing with what's called peer-to-peer -peer connections of computers. Your computer is connected to everyone else in the game's computer. It's called peer-to-peer. -peer. And in the, in blockchains, when money's involved, it's similar, except that you can't have double spending when it comes to money. I mean, if money is spent on one computer, you can't spend the same money on another. So that's what the original blockchain called Bitcoin was invented for, to end the double spending problem. And that's what makes it so valuable. I send money to your wallet, I know that it's already left my wallet, so I can't spend it again somewhere else. So blockchain for books is just take that idea to the publishing life cycle. Um, the money, it's a it's an economy of its own, right? It's It's not about rental cars or you know airlines or just generic banking it's just about the economy of books but it's the same idea when money transacts it's there it's solid it's done you can trust it it's all done by computers anybody can check you know you don't have to audit publishers anymore you just take a look in your own wallet so that's really well understood in the financial world that's why these uh city bank uh pick any bank you want, they're all using blockchains now because they understand how important that is. Supply chains in general. And so publishing actually has its own supply chain, starting from the author and their idea, or maybe it was a, and um, one of their fans had the idea, and now the author is going to write it out, or an institution wants a certain kind of book written, or a university wants a professor to write a textbook about something. From the idea all the way through the steps, there are transactions occurring. There's illustrators, editors, peer reviews, bulk, bulk buys, libraries. Libraries are very important. And the way that electronic books are done today with 
digital rights management, DRM, uh, and end user license agreement, doesn't really work for libraries very well. And uh, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but it did work for paper. So with the public idea, the blockchain for books, we can restore all of those business models that worked very well in paper. Uh, one cool thing about um, Joseph yeah. is that uh, he's American, but he lives in Norway. Yeah, Lillehammer, yeah. UNESCO World Site for Literature. So you can talk a little <laughs> Norwegian as well. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's not Norse. Yeah, it's Norse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Joseph really likes that uh, Bob Books is Norwegian. And we really fit uh, together because uh, what Bob Books is making is the interface for the user. The, the author will not see Publica, it will see Bob Books. So, right. um, but we can integrate uh, Publica uh, where there are some transactions to be made or made or agreements. So this is very interesting because, especially for ebooks, if uh, someone, uh, if Joseph buys my ebook from uh, Bulbox, he could sell it to a friend and um, get money for it. And even I can get money for it. For it. Is that right? Uh, that's right. Uh, so blockchains um, are, they hold what's called a smart contract uh, so that it just works. The computers just run the numbers through it and it works the same way every time. It, it looks just like JavaScript or something like that. It's just a uh, computer virtual machine. So uh, the contract that you make with the readers is the one that the blockchain will perform every time money goes through it. Okay, this is so cool and it's, I think it's really mind-blowing. <laughs> well, it is. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's mind-blowing to wrap your head around it now. Yeah. A year from now, we come back to next year's feature book, you're all going to have a public e-reader wallet on your phone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Great. Then I'm looking forward to our uh, mutual uh, speech. And uh, see you next Yeah, yeah. Week. We'll see you after the speech. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Bye.